I will go a different build this game. We shall see. <laughs> I'll go the secret build. Since the team is tanky, right? They have Olaf, Bruiser, Tank, Amumu, Tank Support. They do have two squishies. I still want to play Assassin. I'm not going to go Conquer. I don't need Conquer to beat Amumu matchup. I will invade Amumu. Amumu is a jungler you want to always invade. I won't have Pryo anywhere though, but it's okay. Oh, Ghost Flash. Wasn't sure if he would die or not, so flashing is always worth. Pickaxe Recall, protect my bot cam. That's definitely the play here, rather than autopilot doing crunks. I think I'm dead. She should be able to kill this though, I did it infinite damage. Nice. Oh, she kills them all, she has red buff lethal tempo. Hmm, bro, this looks too free. I'm level 3 though. He's level 5. Could kinda go wrong, but not necessarily. I can kill him and then do grubs though. I shouldn't have went towards Olaf. I should have tried to do it to the other side, my bad. It's okay. And I get boots here. Okay, perfect. Edge of Knight is really good into their team. I need to I need stuff to be tanky and the shield is really good for Ari and Rel and Amomo. You die and give a reset, man. My top is 0-3. Do I have any human on the team? My Kaiser was 5-0 as well. She into their whole lead. He's here. And he's typing. Disgusting master animal is typing after he's fucking outperformed when he started game 5-0. I'm dead anyways. How does she die? Lost top tier two. That's Ari. I have tenacity in everything. Kill? That's really good. Chill, chill, just back. 
Tenacity here saved my ass by the way. I took Tenacity Ruins and Mercs and I bought Edge of Night. That was such a smart adaptation. You should be dead. Holy shit, that was satisfying. Did you guys see that? The VA Vagar? I like this build, by the way. I think I'll add this build to my adapting collection. Against heavy CC, tanky comp, tanky jungle matchup, Eclipse first into Edge of Night, Tenacity Boots, Tenacity and Ruins as well. Olaf recall. Bro, Eclipse, Mercs. I'm dead. Never mind, we're chilling. Back to Yappen. Eclipse, Mercs, Edge of Night! Yo! So fucking good. Isn't he good here? No. Because you still want to play as an assassin. Like in team fights, if you saw, I still went on Kalista and Ari. Conk is kind of useless in that case. But you're also going to be able to like deal with the enemy CC. You're going to be somewhat tanky because of Edge of Night HP. And you're going to have tenacity. You're going to be able to survive. And because of the shield, Eclipse. And it's passive, you're still going to deal damage to the front line. It's like overall, it gives you everything you need in such scenarios, you know? And then fourth item here. I don't need Serpents. I mean, there's Gage Olaf. And there's Locket. Locket Gage. Is it worth though? I don't think so. Because I will not even focus these. I'd rather the 10 extra lethality late game from opportunity and a little bit of mobility. Serpent's here would have been valid as well. It's like not a bad way. But I can't reach, man. It doesn't matter, we're too fed right now. I'm just recalling here. It doesn't matter, I have insane tenacity. I can't even out her here. She's dead. This build is good, I like it, I like it. My guy gliding. Oh, what the? My Vega skilled, I guess. Hey, I'm not messing with this big guy. This is better than crit. I don't think the crit is that good. I think I'm gonna even delete the command. I think there are way more, vi like way better. I mean, GA here is always the best option. I don't even need extra damage. GA potion. I don't think crit variation of Eclipse is the strongest. This variation right here is when you're against a uh, comp with a high CC, Rel, Ari, Amumu in one team, you take Tenacity Shard and you buy Mercs after second item. Insane value, bro. You, you're gonna get CC chained and it's gonna be like 1.5 second because of your ruins and boots. And then, Edge of Night second, with Eclipse, you're gonna have HP and you're gonna have the Eclipse Shield and Mobility. You'll be able to play front to back 
while still being an assassin because you have Dark Harvest. And you still go Thrill as third, obviously. I mean, they're all stacking auto mode. You'll need it. Oh, let me focus up a bit. Wait, why did he... Oh, he walked towards the auto because he got... Cause he got uh, holy, my damage. I mean, I'm full build, to be fair. Yeah, and then fourth item you can flex it. Like, you can go Serpents. I went to Opportunity here because I don't think it's much value. And last item still GA. You can also go, like, more damage. Like, here, buying Serpents last wouldn't have even been bad if I didn't have enough for GA. This variation is really good, but I think you can go a different variation. Where you can go Conk if they're, like, legit 5 melee. Like, let's say they have even one more tank and they Yasuo. You can go Conk. And you can go Opportunity second instead of Edge of Night if you don't really need it, because they don't have champs that are good for Edge of Night. Like sometimes they're all melee, but they don't have high CC or anything like that, right? You just gotta adapt it slightly. You went Eclipse into Edge, yeah. Eclipse Edge still does Opportunity GA. Now I see an Eclipse build, I'm confused. No, no, don't get confused. It's just uh, into tanky CC comps, right? Eclipse Hubris Humos. I don't think we have any other option, right? Eclipse into tanky or comps. Hubris into comps where you want to play for scaling. You have a scaling team. Enemy top comp is somewhat tanky, but not as tanky as this comp that I just played against. Yomos against very squishy slash highly aggressive team comp. Like you have an aggressive team comp, now to this Kalista setup for example, and you want to play for early insane tempo. That's how the thought process of the builds is. Shadows touch all. You're on the stick.